About 10 million Americans have the disease and 44 million have low bone density, placing them at risk. Doctor, talk to us about what osteoporosis is and why women are at such risk. So osteoporosis is thinning of the bone. Uh, we build bone into our 20s, starting in our 30s, that bone, bone loss starts to happen, and that bone loss accelerates greatly after menopause. Our bones are alive. Uh, I, they're always remodeling. There are cells that build bone and there are cells that break it down. And in men, in, after menopause, those cells that break it down are overactive. So for a woman with low mineral bone density or men uh, or osteoporosis, we definitely think they need to have adequate calcium and vitamin D. The recommendation is about 1200 milligrams of calcium uh, per day and about 800 units of vitamin D. It's also important, um, you know, those are the building blocks, mm -hmm. but there's other things that will help our bones to stay healthy, and one of those things is exercising. So exercise that is weight-bearing or provides some resistance, uh, as well as things that we shouldn't do, like smoke, because that helps break down bone as uh, as does drinking alcohol more than moderately. And talk to your doctor, and when appropriate, take medication. Uh, what medication and when would it be appropriate to take? So we start with a class of medication called the bisphosphonates. They uh, help to slow down that breakdown of bone. Another class of medicine now that is avail available um, is an antibody medicine, denosumab. And so those are the treatments that we would normally recommend.